Hello everyone, I'm Nate Dinsdale. I'm the product manager for sensors at Various Industries. I'm here today to talk to you about our new CW2, HW2, and TW2 room sensors. So these are our new line of sensors that replace the, the existing legacy offer. And we've taken uh, a lot of the feedback that we have from uh, the installation teams uh, and just customers in the market. And we've integrated a lot of new interesting features that make this very nice. So the first thing about this is we have a true multi-sensor platform that's available with CO2, VOC, humidity, and temperature. The other thing that's nice about it is we have multiple display options. So we have a touchscreen, an LCD, and a blank model. So whether you have just a basic requirement for an LCD display, no display at all, or a higher end touchscreen, we have an option that works best for you. So one of the things that's really, really nice about these sensors is you have a single display that's gonna show all the sensor values. So here, this model has got all four sensors. So here you have your temperature, you've got your humidity, your CO2, and you got your VOC, uh, volatile organic compounds, and this is called AQI, which is the air quality index. So right now, uh, I'm wearing a mask, so it's actually at 0%. Typically, it'd be a little bit higher than that if I was breathing on it. But that said, uh, you have a very nice platform that's going to show all of the different sensor parameters simultaneously. The other thing that's very nice about this is you have multiple set points that are available. So temperature, humidity, fan speed all come included in the BACnet Modbus models. If you have an analog model, you get to pick one of those types of outputs because you're limited to one analog output. The other thing that's really nice about this is you saw that the screen reverted. You can set this screen to have a, a, a timeout similar to a phone to where uh, after a button press, it's gonna revert back to the home screen. You can also set it to where the screen turns off. So uh, if you have a residential application, you don't want this light on 24 seven, you can set it so that it's off. One of the really nice things is for a school application, you can set the touch screen to just be a display. So you set all the parameters how you want them. You have a dip switch on the back that you can configure to make it a touch screen. So occupants in the room, students come up, touch the display, it's not gonna do anything. It's a true display only device. So the other thing that I'm really gonna talk about is the installation piece of this. So there's normally a security screw here. They're not installed right now for the purpose of this. The device itself is intended to be hot swapped, so you can take it off. It's not gonna hurt it when it's powered. So here you've got a nice, large, uh, number one Phillips or flathead screw terminal. You've got very clear wiring instructions for that. The other thing that's really nice is you have your dip switch settings and your dip switch is here. So you can look at your settings, make the switches super fast, very quick to install. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk a little bit about the actual unit itself. So as you can see here, there's a small serpentine there and there's a separation. And what that's for is that's to isolate the temperature sensor away from the other devices. So one of the things that you see on this category of sensors often in the marketplace is you see self-heating that requires an offset. You don't have to do that with our products. The other thing that's unique to our product in the marketplace is we have a replaceable humidity element. So models that have a humidity element, you're gonna have a humidity element on the back side of this board here that's gonna pick up the humidity readings and that's gonna be a 2% device. But say you have a requirement for 1% or 2% with NIST certificate, or you have the need to replace a contaminated sensor that's potentially in like a, a pool area that got contaminated with uh, chlorinated air over time. Rather than replace the entire sensor, you can just replace the humidity element itself. So this is one of our new HS series humidity elements. They're available in 1% and 2% with NIST certificates or 2% without NIST certificates. And basically what you do is you install this unit. Let's go ahead and do it this way. You install the replaceable element here and it defaults to this element uh, and you essentially have the capabilities to go into high accuracy applications like pharmacies and manufacturing facilities and a lot of flexibility on your installation. So that said, 
Uh, if you have any questions, take a look at Veris.com and reach out to the service team.